Suratul Ikhlas can be studied technically, it can be studied grammatically, it can be studied by me telling you what the Mufassirun said about the ayat, and all of that is beneficial knowledge, but the truth about Surah Al-Ikhlas, and the reason it's called, notice Surah Al-Ikhlas is called Al-Ikhlas, that's the most famous name of it. It has many other names, like Surah Al-Najat, they called it Surah Al-Najat also, the Surah of Rescue. This Surah rescues you, it saves you. Uh, but but uh, Surah Al-Samad is also called, because Allahu Samad is in there. But the word Ikhlas is not in the Surah. Right, typically you find Surah Al-Baqarah has the word Baqarah in it, Surah Ali Imran has Ali Imran in it, Surah Al-Nisa has Nisa in it, Surah Al-Ma'idah has Ma'idah in it, Surah Al-An'am have An'am in them. <laughs> right? But you have now in this Surah, you, you don't have the word Ikhlas. Why is it called Ikhlas? Ikhlas actually means to purify. Akhlasa. So Akhlasa means to cleanse something of impurities. And this Surah does multiple things. It cleanses the heart. As I'll try to demonstrate, it cleanses the heart if we allow it to. It cleanses the mind. It cleanses sins. It cleanses one's life. It cleanses one's akhirah. It cleanses everything. It's, it's ikhlas in every sense. And it's, ikhlas also means sincerity. Sincerity, because sincerity is what? At the end of the day, sincerity means cleansing of one's intentions. That's what sincerity means. So it cleanses that too. It is. In a sense, a summary of the entire Qur'an. In a sense, it's a summary of, like the Prophet ﷺ would, you know, describe it as a third of the Qur'an. You know, that's, that's a pretty heavy thing to say, a third of the Qur'an. You know, so much of the Qur'an is encapsulated inside of this one surah. Why? It's not just say, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ وَحَدَ اللَّهُ السَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلَدْ وَلَمْ يُلَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُنْ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرْ Not that. Let's stop and think. Stop and contemplate. And think from here, and may Allah give us the ability to think from here also. Because when you get that, then ikhlas happens. Ikhlas actually happens when you recite from here. You know? And may Allah, you know, give us that ability. You know, I was telling you that, that narration about which there is some debate whether or not the skies and the earth are only standing because of Qul Allahu Ahad. When you think of the opposite, people say some things, you know, in this surah Allah begins by saying that He's alone, He's the only one. Ahad. When people violate that, when people say, وَقَالُوا اتَّخَذَ الرَّحْمَانُ وَلَدًا When people say, Ar-Rahman took a son. Ar-Rahman has taken up a son. لَقَدْ جِئْتُمْ شَيْئًا إِدًّا So to, so to Maryam, Allah says, you've, you've said some monstrous thing, a vile thing you've, that's come out of your mouths. When Allah says that, He says that the skies are about to tear open and the earth will rip apart. And in tafsir of that, some of us would mention the only reason they don't rip apart is there's, there's still some people saying, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ And if that wasn't there, they would just, they, the skies couldn't be able to handle that kind of a violation. Just people saying Allah has a son. Okay? Now, the hadith about this surah, I'm going to read some of them for you. عَنْ قَتَادَ بْنُ نُعْمَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ أَنَّ رَجُلًا قَامَ فِي زَمَنِ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ يَقْرَأُ مِنَ السَّحْرِ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ لَا يَزِدُ عَلَيْهَا there's a, a man got up in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. From the morning time, he would only recite Surah Al-Ikhlas. Just قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ Nothing more. لَا يَزِيدُ عَلَيْهَا فَلَمَّا أَصْبَحْنَا أَتَى الرَّجُلُ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ When the morning came, we, the, the man came to the Prophet ﷺ. وَذَكَرَ ذَلِكَ لَهُ And he told him that. وَكَأَنَّ الرَّجَلِ يَتَقَالُّهَا فَقَالَ رَسُولُ and the Prophet ﷺ said, I swear by the one who controls my life, who has my life in his hands, it is the equal of a third of the Qur'an. In other words, don't criticize him. If he's got this love for this surah and he recites it all the time, just leave him be. That's, that's good enough for him. فِي رِوَايَةٍ لِأَحْمَدٍ عَنْ سَعِيدِ الْخُدْرِ أَنَّ رَجُلًا قَالَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ إِنَّ لِي جَارًا يَقُومُ اللَّيْلِ A man came, this is narrated Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, a man came, Ya Rasulullah, Messenger of Allah, I have a, I have a neighbor, يَقُومُ Layla. He gets up in the middle of the night, Tahajjud prayer, لَا يَقْرَأُ إِلَّا قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ كَأَنَّهُ يُقَلِّلُهَا And it, it's like he just reduces the whole Qur'an to just this. So he, all he recites is, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ The entire Qiyamu Layl. فَقَالَ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمُ وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ بِيَدِهِ إِنَّهَا لَتَعْدِلُ I swear by the one who has my life in his hands, it is the equivalent of a third of the Qur'an. It's equivalent of a third of the Qur'an. 
وعن أبي سعيد الخدري رضي الله عنه قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لأصحابه أي عجز أحدكم أن يقرأ ثلث القرآن في ليلة فشق ذلك عليهم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said to the companions one time Are, are you tired? Or is, it, is it too much for you that you will recite one third of the entire Quran in one night? Is that, is that, is that too much for people? قالوا أيونا يطيق ذلك يا رسول الله They said who has the ability to recite a third of Quran Messenger of Allah فقال الله فقال الله الواحد الصمد ثلث القرآن Allah the one the Samad that's a third of the Quran recite ikhlas that's a third of the Quran don't be lazy at night reciting Surah Al-Ikhlas and this the hadith begins with are you incapable of reciting it? Is any of you incapable? Like the Prophet ﷺ isn't just saying you should recite it. It's like he's almost complaining. You know how parents sometimes they give you advice. They say, is it too much for you to finish your homework on time? Was it too much to ask you to just brush your teeth? Is it really that hard to close the bathroom door? You know that, that form of speech? Okay, okay, I know, I know. I forgot. It is said about things that are so easy and yet you don't do them. This is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi for telling us something that is so profoundly easy and yet we overlook it. Okay, so just night time is a good time for Surah Al-Ikhlas and Falaq and Nas as we will see when we get to those surahs. Okay, the Prophet Sallallahu at night time when every time he'd about to be lying in his bed, he would hold his hands together, blow into his hands three times like that. Some say one time, this narration says one time, and he would recite in both of his hands, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقْ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ Then he would rub it, he would do mas'ah all over his body, three times, and he would do this three times. And this is narrated by Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها. She says, uh, سَلُوهُ One other, another time Sahaba came to him and said, this person only recites uh, you know, even when he leads the prayer, he's reciting, every time he recites something, like he recites any part of Qur'an, then he'll finish it off with, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٍ And then, Allahu Akbar. Like he'll do that at the end of every rak'ah. So the Prophet ﷺ said, سَلُوهُ لِأَيِّ شَيْءٍ يَصْنَعُ ذَلِكَ Go ask him, why does he do that? فَسَأَلُوهُ فَقَالَ لِأَنَّهَا صِفَةُ الرَّحْمَانِ وَأَنَا أُحِبُّ أَنْ أَقْرَأَ بِهَا He said, because that is, a be- that is the quality of the most loving, caring and merciful one. It's a description of a Rahman. Notice he didn't say it's a description of Allah. He said it's a description of Ar-Rahman. That's important. Because he sees some Rahmah in this surah. And that's why he's, he's not reciting Ar-Rahman or Allah al-Qur'an khalaqa al-insan. He's reciting Qul huwa Allahu ahad. And he's doing it all the time. And the Prophet says, and he said that's why I love reading it. And I re- re- lead prayer with it. That's why I love to read it and read prayer with it. فَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ أَخْبِرُوهُ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّهُ the Prophet ﷺ said, tell him, Allah loves him. Tell this person, Allah loves him. The Prophet ﷺ said, Uqba, listen. And usually, Rasul ﷺ would not call people by name. That's, people are already attentively listening to him. But when he would go out of his way to call, and not just call, Ya Uqba, Ya Uqba tu ibn Amir. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's uh, going out of his way to say the full name. Like, you really need to pay attention to this. He says, can I not tell you, can I not teach you a surah that Allah did not reveal, it wasn't revealed in Torah, not in Zabur, not in Injil, not in the criterion, مثل, not in any revelations like them, not any of the revelations. Before the Prophet read more, tell, told him more, he said, there better not be a single night that passes you by that you don't recite these. So he kind of warned him, before I teach you this, you better know that now that I'm teaching you this, this is serious, don't let a single night pass you by without it. That's the لَا يَأْتِيَنَّ عَلَيْكَ لَيْلَةٌ إِلَّا قَرَأْتَهُنَّ فِيهَا قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ وَقُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقْ وَقُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ I don't have to translate that. Last three surahs. فَقَالَ عُقْبَى فَمَا أَتَتْ عَلَيَّ لَيْلَةٌ إِلَّا قَرَأْتُهُنَّ فيها. Never did a night come by except I, I recited it. وَحُقَّ لِي أَن لَا أَدَعُهُنَّ وَقَدْ أَمَرَنِي بِهِنَّ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ And it is only rightful that I would never abandon them when the Prophet went out of his way to command me to do that. صلى الله عليه وسلم وعن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال سمع رجلا يقرأ قل هو الله أحد 
One time the Prophet Sallallahu Abu Hurairah narrates, the Prophet Sallallahu was passing by and a person was reciting Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, Wajabat. Wajabat. Wajabat means it became mandatory. You can also think of it as, it is it became guaranteed. It was guaranteed. Now what was it? فَقَالُوا يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ مَا وَجَبَتْ They asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what became guaranteed? What is mandatory? He said, قَالَ وَجَبَتْ لَهُ الْجَنَّةِ He said, Jannah became guaranteed for him. Jannah became mandatory to, for him to be, to be to receive. <laughs> Just for him listening to قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ مَنْ قَرَأَ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ عَشَرَ مَرَّاتٍ بَنَ اللَّهُ لَهُ بَيْتًا فِي الْجَنَّةِ The Prophet ﷺ says, Al-Sahih al jamia al he says, whoever recited this surah, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ ten times, Allah builds him a house in Jannah. Allah builds that person a house in Jannah. May Allah make us of those people.